Bubba, and Bubba was like, what's Howard's middle name? <laughs> Does anybody know? Yeah, Bubba was because saying. Because we can differentiate. He goes, we have the real Howard Stern. <laughs> oh, now, first it started out, the coverage, they were calling Howard K. Stern, Howard K. Stern. Now they're just calling him Howard Stern. I know. I, yeah. I noticed that I'm in my car listening to all the coverage, you know, like the autopsy and all that stuff, you know, when the medical examiner came out. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the K got dropped. Yeah. Almost wrecked my car. Yeah. I didn't uh, hear anybody drop the K yet. Oh, that's uh, no. In a way, it's flattering that you're famous enough to where he had to do something. That's probably why he added the K. Yeah, yeah well, but now he's more famous. He's getting to drop the K. <laughs> it's I his kept, time, Robin. I kept thinking, well, my first reaction was, you know, Howard Stern, the name Howard, is not the coolest name on the planet. It's not, you know, Mickey or Michael or <laughs> Anthony. Johnny. Anthony. It's Justin. None of that. You know, Howard's a tough name to go through <laughs> life with. It's it's not the greatest. And, you know, like Dee Snyder once said to me, he goes, you know, you actually made the name Howard kind of cool. Uh -huh. You know, you know, you work on this thing and you try to have a career that people can admire. And now he's messing it up. Yeah, that, that, so my first reaction is, this guy's fucking up my <laughs> brand, if you will. Work. Yeah, you know, the Howard Stern brand. Yeah. Then all of a sudden I did a turnaround two days ago. I said to Beth, you know, in a weird way, if this was any of my radio competitors, I'd be pissed at getting all this free advertising. Yeah, their names would be like, you know, if yeah. it was Bubba the Love Sponge who, who would marry Anna Nicole. If, if anyone's theory was that I'd go to satellite and be forgotten, my name now, uh, Howard, <laughs> Howard K. Stern. <laughs> I, I, at first, I was so angry. I was going to change my name to, like, you know how Donald is the Donald? Right. I was going to be the Howard. Right. The Howard. Drop the Stern. Get rid of it. Legally change it to the Howard or Howard the Love Sponge or something, you know? <laughs> like what Bubba Howard did. Clem. Howard Clem. <laughs> just change it entirely. Just be the Howard. And from now on, only be referred to as the Howard. Because <laughs> I am the Howard. And then uh, Bubba said the real Howard Stern, which I thought was pretty good. And then I was going to become Howard A. Stern. I know, because that was, yeah, but Howard A. Stern that goes back to, you know, that's not that cool. Well, that forces me to, to react to Howard K. Stern. But my point is, you know, Howard K. sounds better than Howard A. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know. Don't do that. You know what this well, is like? Did you ever see Mike Judge's movie Office Space? There's I a, love that there's movie. A great, uh, there's a great sort of backstory in the whole thing. There's a guy at the office named Michael Bolton. Yeah. Right. And he's all pissed off. because. <laughs> so someone says, why don't you change your name to Mike? Just say Mike Bolton. And he's like, no, he's the one who sucks. Make him change his name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he's just tortured his whole life because Michael Bolton got famous. Well, this, that's exactly what well, this like, is like. like. I have mixed emotions about it. I'm laying in bed and I said to Beth last night, I go, you know, look at this. This guy has to be Howard K. Stern because I'm Howard Stern. Right. I said that in that sense, it's complimentary. It's flattering. Said, on the positive side, if you were going to look for, you know, our fans who haven't joined us to come over to Satellite, they got to be going, what the hell is Howard Stern? Think of this Howard well, K. Stern. Well, I was in the garage on Friday yeah. and this guy said, oh God, what is Howard going to say on Monday with his name being bandied about like this with Anna Nicole Smith? And as much as our fans know me, there are people who really never got the radio show in terms of uh, people like to say who live in Kansas. Or, we weren't on in a lot of markets. Right. Look, wasn't it I Beth who it. overheard that couple at the airport? I mean, mm. how many people like that are there out there who think I you you married Anna Nicole. Are you kidding? I got a letter. I hope I printed it out. From Anybody send you condolences? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. For real. Are you kidding? I got a letter. <laughs> well, you did know her. <laughs> well, first of all, I got to show you this. In Australia, this is the newspaper. This is their biggest newspaper. This is a legitimate. You can see it looks like our newspaper. Mm -hmm. you right. Know, it's it looks a, like a the newspaper, Daily News. Yeah. Listen to this. This is announcing bombshell Anna Nicole dies in drug overdose. She leaves behind her five-month-old daughter, Danny Lynn, who is in the middle of a paternity battle, as both photojournalist Larry Burkett and controversial DJ Howard Stern oh. are claiming to be her father. Oh. So in the world, oh, oh, God. you were married to Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, I mean, you know, come on, motherfucker. So I... when you go overseas now, that's what they're going to say. How yeah. are you getting over Anna? How's Anna Nicole? <laughs> Wait, let How's me see. the baby? Where's I, the baby? I wonder if I printed out this condolence letter. I've got to. Oh, that's too funny. It was like, you know, Mr. Stern, we're so sorry. Oh, here. Dear Mr. Stern, this is from, uh, I'm not going to give the woman's name, but. Somebody you know? 
No, it's like a dear Mr. Stern. I would like to condole of. I would like to condole of your loss of Anna Nicole Smith. You can tell. Now that's some, interesting. Condole yeah. of your loss. Why do God take the people we love most and care about? Wow. She will always be B E E in our heart and in our mind forever. She will never be forgotten. So you have to worry about those people. She has. She had pride, kindness, loveness, honesty, that honesty, and the heart at the right place. A frame from me. Love is like a bullet with your name on it. You've never seen it come. Kind regards. It's a woman from Denmark. Mm. Oh, so, so that's why it her is English, in the world, yeah. Yeah, that's why her English is so bad. Right. So in Denmark, she figures Howard Stern lost Anna Nicole Smith, but and I'm such a I'm fucking saying. loser. Outside the borders of the United States, yeah. you're probably totally married to Anna Nicole Smith. Yeah, this, this, this <laughs> the whole thing has just got to be resolved and out of the news. But You're going to have to hold a press conference pretty soon. Oh, well, I was going to, I swear to you, I was going to have a press conference today announcing that I'm now the Howard. I'm dropping Stern. Uh huh. I only want to be called the Howard. I think you have to do it. I think you should yep. call the world press in. <laughs> Gary, get me AP. A report, any reporter, I want to make an announcement. They'll spread the story. Right. Because it's obvious that outside of the United States, there is no Howard K. Stern. There's only you. Yeah, because of the international... In fact, when I make my statement to the press, I should have both of these as examples. Yes. I have to drop Stern. Because that's what happened <laughs> also in the paper when they're talking about Howard K. Stern. After they say Howard K. Stern went to Bahamas, they say Stern did this and Stern did that. Right, right, yeah, right. I can't even tell you how much I dislike Howard K. Stern. In fact, uh, I pulled the clips from our old show. And by the way, Benji, I was going to call you to offer my condolences. Oh. I know. He deserved the condolences. Benji, I thought about him, too. Benji had a whole thing with that in a call. Yeah, it was a, it was a while ago, but I did. Yeah. You He's spent got, some time with her. Yeah. He finally gave up on her and got a real girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> who I must say was, to me, much better looking. I, I agree. And not only yeah. that, just a much nicer, easier to deal with person, I'm sure. Right. Yeah. Gary, as soon as you try to get an international reporter who can report all over the world that I am the Howard. I'm going to try to get the Associated Press reporter that just did a piece on us like two weeks ago, that guy Larry. Thank you. Stuff like I this wonder is, if that's filtrated. We'll have to ask Larry, how far is his reach? Stuff like this is so totally believable because for years I had a couple of friends who swore the H. Stern store on Fifth Avenue was you. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> People love to make just if connections. Only that were true. Well, that I would imagine. Yeah. That, that would be okay. By the way, where is Reuters? Maybe you need to get them. They're more international. By the way, Howard TV is doing an Anna Nicole retrospective tonight. Howard Oof. TV has video of Benji and Anna Nicole making out and everything, and I have a bunch of clips I'm going to play for you in just a minute. Are they going to run Anna Nicole's first appearance ever on our show? That is brutal. That's the most brutal thing I've ever seen. One, I, I was telling somebody, she literally fell asleep while you were asking her a question. Remember? Yeah, that was the time she could hardly speak. Yeah. You her, mean I, when she was fat? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but this, I'm talking about way, way long time. before we weighed her and stuff? Yeah, years before that. Yeah, oh, where's the first that? time. She came, she came on once, that? and she was like, uh, something was going on, and you you started to talk to her, and her eyes, like at one point, they closed, and it looked like she well, fell. Do we have? Do we have that? Let's play that whole tape. Hmm, big girl, I like that. I'm a big man. <laughs> That's what you keep telling me, but you still ain't dropped your drawers yet. No, oh, I'll drop my drawers. You come over here, I'll drop them right for you. Okay. Come on over here. Okay. Oh, really? Ooh. Well, you better get uh, busy <laughs> there, Howard. All right. L let me see them. Here. Let me show you. Okay. Come over here. Stand up. Take off those stupid headphones. Get my arms around you. <laughs> You're supposed to be dropping your drawers. Well, she's not here yet. I'll drop my drawers when she gets here. <laughs> Come over here. This girl likes fun. I can tell right away. They got You know what it is your problem? They got you on this promotional tour. You're not having any fun. I just throw that right over here. Oh, I thought that was just cool. Ouch. <laughs> He's just throwing everything out of the way. <laughs> wow, you are a big girl. How tall are you? 5'11". All right, that's exactly my size. Yeah. Well, let's, let's just see how big that thing is. No, oh, I'm not taking my thing off. But <laughs> look at my... Look at what my are you stuff. showing? Oh, come on, you said you were going to drop I'm not going to show it to you. That's your pants. I'm not going to show it to you. Why not? You said you are going to drop your drawers. I'm going to have you in court as a sex slave. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hug goodbye. Come here. Come here. With your Come pants here. down? Yeah, you just yeah. want to feel Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Don't I feel good? I'm no old man like your Great. husband, baby. When I take a hold of you, you're not going to know what hits you. You'll be pregnant in two minutes. Now, pull up your pants, you All say, right. first. I'm showing you my penis. pants back up. <laughs> I didn't want to make you sick. All right, that is Anna Nicole Smith. Remember to call her number one.
A N N A. She's For had quite the a full life. Eden Quest. And remember, if you see her, don't ask her what happened with the sex slave thing because the management will rip her right out of here. Yeah. And uh, you seem a little spacey. You know that. I seem spacey. Yeah. Well, it was that acid this morning. Did you yeah. take a little something this morning? Maybe he gave it to me. You seem a little high or something. You doing anything? I think he put something in my drink. I think somebody slipped you something. <laughs> You know what? All I wanted was Anna Nicole news all weekend. I, I was riveted. I mean, I was so glad that CNN broke into regular programming. Oh, it was and great. All Anna Nicole. Doesn't it seem Boy. like a lot of stories have been breaking on Thursdays? Didn't something I else know. major happen on a Thursday when we you were leaving? You know what's leaving? weird? Anna Nicole was not that big a deal, obviously. I mean, they're calling her Marilyn Monroe, but she she wasn't in any movies. I mean, Marilyn Monroe had an acting career. Right. I well, mean, but... somebody, you know, th that's just, they asked one guy who was a show business reporter, and they said, well, there's hardly a comparison. Right. Well, neither, Pam Anderson's the same thing. I mean, she was on a couple of series, but yeah, Marilyn Monroe was an A-list movie star. Yeah. You know? I love that everybody's resident, you know, Larry King talking about how wonderful she was, how smart she was. Oh, you know what? It wasn't Larry King, so, well, Larry King too, but I'm watching Greta Van Susteren on uh, yeah? on CNN, and she there's a promo going, and she goes, Anna Nicole was very intelligent. Uh -huh. and I'm like, well, come on. Based on what? How, yeah, like how, how do you how do you come to that conclusion? Even the whole the whole thing was like you could say whatever you want about her, right. but she was a great mother. Oh, and I'm yeah. like oh. I'm like how do you know that? Break. No, but that's what everybody day. said. Did you watch that reality show? She, she she took that kid, put him on TV, and she was horrible. She was, He was whining. I don't want to get the cameras away. He was crying. Yeah. She was crawling around in one episode, and her ass got stuck in a uh, chair. That was great. In a yeah. chair. And they cut to the kid's face. She's stuck in the chair with her ass going, eh, eh, suck, eh, suck. And they cut to the kid, and my God, the look on his face, I felt so bad for yeah. her. Oh, I thought that kid was in prison. Hey, Howard, can I tell <laughs> you? You know, so like Thursday, there's all these rumors running around. By Friday morning, there's all sorts of crazy rumors. So I went to the garage. The guy at the garage told me the most insane rumor ever. Thank you. I mean, it's not, there's no way it's true. Right. But he says to me, he goes, yeah, you know what they're saying on the radio? And I go, what? They go, they're saying that uh, the baby, the, you know, the daughter, the son that died, he was the father, oh, so she killed God. herself. I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, that can't be hey, true. That's a good one. I didn't think of that I one. I hadn't heard that The one, one I like is oh, that she's been God. impregnated by the sperm of that dead billionaire. Yeah. Well, you know what? I was looking at the baby's <laughs> name, and she did give the baby that dude's last name. It's not Stern. It's Marshall. Right. Danny Lynn Hope Marshall. I love Prince Von whatever. I know. Zaza's husband. So what's the deal? Zsa Zsa Gabor's husband was banging her. Yeah. She, so, so my wife and I couldn't figure this out. Zsa's 90 but alive. Zsa <laughs> is 90 years old. But alive. But she's in bed like almost in a right. coma. She's and, in a home somewhere. And Prince right. Von whatever is like 63 and he right. said he had a 10 year affair with her. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. People are whacked out of their well, fucking because, mind. Because, well, Anna Nicole, right. Nicole. because as Greta Van Susteren says, the genius Anna Nicole wanted to be a princess, so she wanted <laughs> to marry the, the as Zsa Gabor's husband. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Zsa Gabor's husband became a prince. I think they bought the name right. or something. Yeah, his father was like a yeah. cop or something. So wait a second. If they bought the, the title. If they're 30 years apart, that means that that 30-year-old dude married Zsa when she was like 60? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I want to be a princess. <laughs> and remember, Zsa, Zsa used to say, call me princess. Hey, you know what, Robin? I don't understand this either. I was trying to figure this out all weekend. So Howard K. Stern and Anna Nicole were in Miami, right? Right. right. Where, okay. Well, no, well, somewhere so, down in Florida. So the baby Hollywood. was in the Bahamas, yeah. right? No. So who was watching the baby? And then I heard the house was seized. Oh, it's so crazy. But I thought, you know, no wonder they love the Bahamas. A government minister was taking care of the baby. Yeah, like, where's the kid through all this? I love that uh, the, the rumor was that the son impregnated yeah, her. I, I, I spent my whole ride home great. thinking about that That'd one. That'd be so great. <laughs> uh, well, you know what somebody did bring up? You got, you got these two guys and now the three guys claiming they might be the father of the baby. Right. And uh, one legal expert said, get ready. Because none of them may be the baby's right, right. father. We're thinking it could be uh, it <laughs> Daniel. Could, that could be good. You know, well, the other thing is, what if it was me, Howard Stern? Then they'd have to say Howard Stern is the father, but not Howard K. Stern, Howard A. Stern, or as he's now known as the Howard. The real Howard. See, my <laughs> money's on China being the father. <laughs> See, I read one place that they said that it, it depends on where they're gonna, where the court is gonna be, what state it's yeah, gonna be, yeah. whether it's in the Bahamas. And they said in some places, even the real father. Once somebody puts down on a birth certificate, 
that that's the father. That's what the courts recognize. Oh. Well, but that's not necessarily the case in the Bahamas because they're right. not citizens of the Bahamas. Ha, Robin, this the could Bahamas up, is not even like a real country. This could end up you in, can make any law you want really? on any given day. They were saying this could end up in Texas. Mm-hmm. This could end up in California. This could end up in Kentucky. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Well, when are we going to see a swab and a DNA test on this kid? They, I want to know. Well, they've, um, she originally had an order that by the 21st of February she had to do DNA on Danny Lynn. All right, I'm, I'm taking bets. I'm telling you, I'll put 500 right down now that Larry Burkhead is the father. I think, that's, right. I think, I think that's probably true, too. Hmm. Uh, there were, And I hate that I know the name Larry Burkhead. Uh, There's another name you shouldn't know. It's like right? Jenna Dewan. Larry Burkhead. <laughs> there was uh, there the guy who owns the house yeah. that they were staying in. Yeah, he claimed that before the baby was born, Anna begged him to let her put his name on the birth certificate. Well, here's, uh, here's my money's on him. Here's a tape of uh, <laughs> he Anna has Nicole. A yeah. Here's Anna Nicole on my show, right. our show, all of our show, and here's Anna Nicole saying that she would never be attracted to Howard K. Stern. Did you ever feel any sexual feelings for Howard K. Stern? No. 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 Oh, Jesus. You're so, lie. Lie. You're so you horny. She lies. You're so oh. horny for any man, but you don't have any sexual any feelings. Man but him. He's like my brother. I mean, we fight all the time. You're not sexually attracted to him at all? No. He's no. like oh. my brother. It's the Howard Stern Seriously, thing. we, we just fight all the, the time. Lives. You would have made it with that Colombian, but not Howard K. Stern. <laughs> <laughs> He's a stupid Jewish man. Yeah, they have to have a pulse. Like my brother. <laughs> they have to have a pulse, but it, they also can't be named Howard Stern. Yeah. I see. <laughs> all right. If Howard K. Stern came to you one night, you guys, you guys were out drinking and all that, and he said, "Listen, I'm really horny, and you know, no strings attached. Can I just have some sex with you? Would you allow him?" No. Really? It's just he's too much like my brother. It's uh, I could down in Texas. That's not taboo. <laughs> <laughs> your brother's your brother's Jewish. <laughs> the Mason Dixon line. It's funny how you said you would... I just could. The next day, I probably wouldn't be able to look at him. (laughs) So you really won't do any guy who wants to do you. That's not true. Any guy except for my lawier. Okay, That would be like you and Robin probably getting together. Nothing wrong with that. I'm ready for it. What's the problem? (laughs) The problem is she doesn't want to make it happen. (laughs) We've never been single at the same time. You know, it's amazing to me. I mean, this is a chick who, you know, at least had the reputation she fucked just about anybody, and judging by how many guys are coming forward to be the father. And the looks of them. But uh, (laughs) the one guy she wouldn't fuck is that Howard K. Stern. Well, that's why I (laughs) laughed hysterically when they said he was the dad. I was like, look, years ago she told us she'd never have anything to do with him. It's almost like, I'm Spartacus. I am Spartacus. Well, Benji even, like, took advantage of the situation by saying to her, hey, you know, uh, if you'll have sex with anyone, he goes, I'm in love with you. I'll have sex with you. I'll give you oral right now. And then they went into the bathroom. Here's, if you remember, here's <laughs> Benji making his move on Anna Nicole. Anna Nicole accepting. They go into a bathroom and then we tape them fucking around. Here we go. I'm just curious because, Anna, you seem like you're very sexual and you do want to have sex. Yes. But, and you seem like you're willing to take any guy that wants to offer it, that likes you. They have to have a job. Oh. Hey, uh, Benji has a no, job. No, I'm being serious. If a guy offered himself. you right now, take you into a room, give you 10 minutes of oral, what would you say? I'd probably jump on it. Let's go. Okay. Benji, you'll do it? Go yeah. ahead. Anna, right in that okay. room. There's a private yeah. room. Yeah. There's, There's a room right over you're here. You're very sexy. <laughs> you want to give her oral right I now? I think she's guy. one of the sexiest women we've ever had on the show. I'd love to do it. You'll do me oral. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, go ahead. Take her. You can take, use my private room. Bring your toes This is a reality show, hey, no, too, No Anna. problem here. <laughs> Hold on. Did, wait, do we get the e-cameras in here for this? This is Benji. Benji, say hi to Anna. Wow. I know I'm a little chubby, <laughs> but I'm very good at oral. Howard, see me do it. I saw him do it on a girl. Oh, He's boy. real good at it. Yeah, she likes it. Open he? your mouth. Let's see for. Uh, you have any, any diseases? Sort of... No, no, absolutely not. Anna, you got any diseases? No. Let's go. Mm. Come on, we'll just <laughs> try right, it out Anna. and see what happens. Okay, wait till after my. Wait, where'd interview. she's going? We'll take your headphones off. You talk a good game. Come on. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you like said you would. Okay. You might need a few oh, red bulls. Dear. Go ahead. Well, it's about time you had some sex. Benji, that's nice of you. <laughs> and Anna, that's nice of you. Go ahead. <laughs> Here they go. This, uh, oh, my God. She's going with them. This is the single, <laughs> this is the single greatest moment in the history of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Benji then takes Anna Nicole into our bathroom where we have microphones and you can hear what happened. Are you not? No, I'm not here. Oh, I don't care. You want to do it just a little bit? Did I just massage it? And you were what, sitting on the toilet with her? She uh, was on your lap on the toilet? I, at some points, but I think at that point we might have both been standing. Okay. 
Tell me exactly what happened in that room. You both got in there. It was awkward. She started whispering, and you were like, hey, let's try a little bit. Yeah, I think she was worried about, like, uh, she was menstruating. Oh. And uh, we were kissing a little bit. and uh, <laughs> You felt those titties? Yeah, but not, I, I, you know, like not mauling him, but just as part of kissing. Did you feel weird when you saw she was dead, like laying on a slab yeah, somewhere? Yeah, like you had yeah. relations with a dead yeah. person. No, I, well, I felt sad. I mean, yeah. I think it's a sad thing. Yeah, I didn't know how you were doing. I was going to contact you. That's okay. Okay. No. Uh, I think, I've always been like the sexiest chick I've ever seen. Like, I've had a fan since like 1990. <laughs> Really? I swear in my life. Oh, you're sweet. Yeah. Uh, no mic. You're making out. Yeah. I'm nervous, I am. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm shaking. It's okay. <laughs> Are you staying in New York? Yeah. Today. Listen to this. I know. My man had the move going. I was like, God, he's nuts because she was at her fattest. She must have weighed. Again, we got into that whole thing with her weight and she freaked out, and I'll play all that. But Well, she was also, uh, you know, like about like a foot taller than me, it seems. Yeah. So I was like, like, on my tiptoes. (laughs) You're trying to reach. Yeah. That's when you get them, Benjit, when they're vulnerable. She was wounded. Let me just give you a little massage. Can I take a little massage? <laughs> what was she doing? Like you're massa- like you're massaging her. Seriously, was she like in shock? No, I just think like she really, you know, she seemed like she was into it, but a little nervous. And uh... but then when you contacted her off the air, she had wanted nothing to do with you, right? No, no, we had that date. It that was the second time. Oh, that was the second time. It was my fault. I was late. And I, Explain the whole sequence to me. I, I'm, I'm forgetting. Okay. That day after the whole bathroom th- thing, I went back with her afterwards. To the hotel? Yeah. Go ahead. And we hung out for like an hour. In her room? They're, they're showing it now on the, on the hotel. On the, this is in her room, right? Uh, uh, hotel suite. Yeah. Yeah. And did you get anywhere with her in the hotel? Not really. Not, you know, I, what I was stupid was I thought I'll drag it out a little bit and like make it kind of not that wild this time. Right. And, and but I, I no, it didn't really go very far. That did I, you kiss her and stuff in the hotel? No. A little, a little bit. And she was showing me her freckles and like how she named her different freckles. And she seems to be digging you. It was tough. I mean, there was like eight people there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Benji making ah, out of my God. Oh, you're looking at it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's bestiality. You were half the size too. <laughs> Looked like a little boy. She didn't look that bad. No, she didn't look that. I mean, yeah, and she always like had a nice like she photograph. Be, she's well. one of the most beautiful women in the world. But yeah. you know what a way she let herself get fat. Then when she got thin, you know, she was just so fucked up. You know, let's not let's, in her death. Let's not pretend that she wasn't fucked up. I mean, oh no, she was brilliant, yeah. talented. Credit Van Susteren said she was a genius. <laughs> <laughs> she dies. Also, she's Madame Curie. Right. Now that we don't have to listen to her, she was brilliant. We're sort of all over the place with this story, and then we got to get to the phone calls, but. I got to... And get to the guy to tell him that you're now just the Howard. Yeah. <laughs> Even Donald Trump, I saw, quoted as saying, Anna wasn't as stupid as people thought she was. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> what are the odds of two guys having the name Howard? You know, what, you know what I had a weird thought? Is it possible at all that his real name isn't Howard Stern and that he changed it because he was a fan? I so. I think that he... Just had that fluky had name. Had that fluky mm. name. Yeah. And he never thought to change it because he never expected to be uh, this notorious. I don't want to win custody of the baby. I don't <laughs> want any babies. I think it's a good idea to get yourself uh, publicity. I like uh, she, her accountant might be a uh, Bruce K. Springsteen. <laughs> it's almost you don't remind me of. Remember the, there was a product we talked about this on the air many times before uh, the disease AIDS came up. There was a product, a weight loss product called AIDS, A Y D S. <laughs> yeah, and they were ruined. When uh, AIDS, the, the virus came along because their product, basically, no one wanted to take a weight loss product called AIDS. Right. So now but my brand is being ruined by Howard K. Stern. All of a sudden, it's not even any good to be Howard Stern. Yeah. But don't you think it's, it's a response? I mean, I'm being dead serious right now. If you're a journalist and 
you're reporting on a story like this, and a person has the same name as a, a guy as famous as you are, right? And as recognizable, if you're going to shorten it, wouldn't you go K Stern? I mean, that th- I mean, yeah, so instead of Howard Stern, if you're going to shorten it, say K Stern. K- to me, these it's like you're confusing a lot of people. These aren't news stories. These are talk shows, and they're not necessarily acting in the in the capacity of journalists okay. at this time. So they can just shorten it to Howard Stern. I'm choosing to be very positive and say this is keeping my name out there because I I did look at it from another perspective. Let's say um, let's say instead of Howard K. Stern his name was Imus. Don Imus. Okay. I'd be livid. I'd be livid. I'd be like wow. Every minute Don Imus. The motherfucker's getting publicity. The motherfucker's probably going to get some kind of audience out of this. Yeah it would be nice if it's a positive thing though. He's famous for it. Yeah but you know what it's just Howard Stern Howard Stern. It's like wow Howard Stern. You know, that's the way I've got to look at it. Otherwise, I'll go insane. The only thing is, I did, and I guess you're right, because knowing that it's really (laughs) Howard K. Stern they're talking about, it... I, it startled me when they started calling him Howard Stern. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, Cousin Brucey uh, taught me about this. His real name was Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> and immediately, he waited about a month, <laughs> legally changed it to Cousin Brucey. Nice. He, he had to get off that name. He's uh, your Cousin Lee Harvey Oswald, would you? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Not that Lee Harvey. I'm Cousin Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> Can you go all the way with and see if you could change his name to Howard Stern of Sirius Satellite Radio? Yeah, you I'm, know I'm, what? I'm sitting here thinking to myself, yeah, you know, uh, maybe we can make something out of it. Yeah, we are. I'm changing my name <laughs> to The Howard. <laughs> I'm the Howard. I really think, no matter what they are, tabloid, that is irresponsible. You're confusing people. Uh, they don't care. Oh, what come do they on. care? Artie. Motherfuckers. <laughs> I just don't like that he's becoming Howard Stern. At least it was Howard K. Stern. That's the thing. He could never be Howard Stern until now. Bastard. I got a whole bunch of clips of that guy. Remember we were arguing with him? I, I I got into an argument with Howard Stern. Howard K. Stern. You fascinate me, I got to tell you. Tell me what you want to do with the videotape from my green room. Okay. We want, with this videotape from the green room, just to be able to use it for Anna's show. All right, look. You're, Is that okay? I, I have no idea what would happen in the green room that you would need for my have show. They wasted footage, but that's their business, so let them do it. All right, so come up with the camera and let's see her. Are you still there? Anna's saying she just she doesn't want to come up. Fine. Well, we knew that. We, we knew you guys time. were wasting our time. I, I think you just wanted all of this drama. It's ridiculous. Let me speak to Anna. Are you going to be apologetic, or are you going to be a jerk to me? I'm going to be Howard. He's going to tell you how wonderful you look when you see him because no, he thinks are you, you look no, 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 no. apologetic. Or I am not going to. Wait a second. Let me let me explain something to you. The only person who is owed an apology is me. Oh, if, screw you, Howard. If it wasn't, you're owed me an apology. You called me a big fat porker pig and tried to get me up on a scale. And who helped I you lose 300 weight? Pounds. Do you know how many women out there that you hurt? Does that get you off? Does that get you off to call people fat? Do you go home and jerk off? Do you huh? want to hear my answer? Do you know how many people that you hurt? She doesn't want to hear the answer. Do you want to hear the sure answer? Off, Howard. Goodbye. Would you I'm like leaving. to hear my answer? This is ridiculous. Goodbye. My Let's answer. Go. They never Let's intended go. to come up here. Yeah, this was all. She's a liar. She's a Big, fat liar. She never intended to come up on here. They wanted to get videotape and jerk me around. And she didn't go on a diet because she needed to lose weight. Yeah. She is a disturbed young lady. Very disturbed. Because they called that right. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a hard call. I mean, you'd have to almost <laughs> be blind and crazy. Robin, don't you think I'm an excellent judge of character? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. To make that yeah. leap. You fucking nailed me as an overeater. <laughs> yeah, I, I picked you out right away. Right on the money. I knew it. You call me a big fat Parker pig. Yeah. Who, whoever used that term, that Kentucky backwards p- p- Parker pig. <laughs> Howard uses that all the time. <laughs> yeah, Parker pig. Howard K. Stern. <laughs> the way you dress and stuff, I don't think you're aware that you're a heavy set woman. That's what I said. I know I'm a big woman, so yeah. what? So I was guessing your weight, and I was going to say to you today, can you please get on the scale, and then we'll have an over-under. That's all? No. Why not? Why not? I'm not going to get on the scale if you want to weigh me. I'll tell you what, I'll give you $1,000 from Trim Spa right now. <laughs> no. If you, get on the, if you get on the scale, I'm serious, 
Why would you want me to get on this? I'll tell you why. So you could humiliate me. Want me to be honest? Yeah. <laughs> Will you tell him if he's right? Be honest. I'll tell him if he's close or not. Okay. <laughs> Three hundred. No, Howard. <laughs> Jesus. Because when Benji was with you on the couch, <laughs> wait, Anna. When Benji Give me was a break, when a, when Benji was on the couch with you, Benji uh -huh. looks tiny next to you, and he weighs two twenty at that point. Benji's a small little guy too. Yeah, but he's. I'm right. saying you're tall. You're big. I'm saying you got to weigh eighty more pounds than Benji. I'm saying you're wrong. Beep. Prove it. <laughs> Prove it. I'm not going to get on the scale. Get on the stupid wave machine. But you're we have. way off. Just the lowest weight good. that we have on here is from Fred at 250 pounds. I think that's accurate. He, Fred <laughs> says you weigh 250. I think I'm right on the money. Oh, my God. Is Fred close? He's about 20 pounds off. All right. So she said she weighed 230. So she's at the two time. knew me 270. She said it was 20 pounds off. Right. No, no, I think she was going other. lower end. Ooh, yeah, no not, not. Uh, I believe uh, in the other direction. So yeah. supposedly she only <laughs> lost 70 pounds. So right, you know, right. to get back to her. She was probably weighed about 230. Weight. I mean, three uh, for a woman for she a woman big, to though. be my weight that I am now. But that's was, an enormous woman. <laughs> but she was close to six feet. Yeah. And was she no, really? Yeah, like, she was you a know, women don't have as much muscle mass, which is heavier. I don't know. So I don't think she, yeah, she doesn't look. Uh, we got great tape of her. We got to do in hula hoops. Yeah, nearly as big as we were saying. Yeah, that might be true. Was she six feet? Yeah, I guess so. Well, Pretty in those gal. shoes she is. I think she was about 5'11. See if I have any other good tape. I got tons of tape. Benji stands up for Anna Nicole. That's a great one. That was the. Is that where he starts yelling? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. See, what, what is it, John? Uh, Anna, Anna, just get on the scale. We all have bets. Stop being so proud. It doesn't matter. We've all been on the scale. No. I'll get on it. Just get on the scale. I said no. It's, it's good for the show. It's easy. Just no. doesn't want to do it. Benji, what are you saying? Yeah. Wait a second. Doesn't want to do it, John. Just, just cut it the hell out. What are you saying, Benji? Benji, just, no, Benji John, all of us have bets on it. Do it. Anna, just get on the scale. It's no, no big deal. Doesn't want to do it. What are you, a moron, yeah, Benji? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, you yeah. want to fight about it? Sure, I'd fight she about it. She doesn't want to do it. Benji, what are you, a, a, a Come nut? On, man. Are you that in love with this freaking... She doesn't want to do it. <laughs> Look at this guy, Rob. Oh, my God. Crazy? Benji, Benji, Benji. All right, Benji. Come on, Benji.